What is going on everybody? It's nothing but skills and today we are going to be showing you Can you guys actually use a shield build to take over control points or to do missions? So today we're gonna to be doing the hardest difficulty you can do a heroic control point, right? So we're gonna be doing a heroic control point hardest difficulty with the shield build, right? So the shield build is the one that I put out if you guys want to see this video I will put a link to it and exactly how I ran it right here so only thing we have is a shield a pistol and let's see how long it takes, right? Let, let's start the timer. See how long it takes. There you go. So I already got started getting shot from the back. So let's finish off these guys right here. I was getting shot in the back, so that was not good. So we started off a little rough, but that's what happens with the shield. Bridge. You gotta make sure you protect your back. We'll get our health back. So let's, let's get over here, man. Let's start pushing forward, man. All right, now we can focus on the control point, right? It kind of sucks because that's going to eat into my time a little. So all you got to do is make sure you keep your back away from the enemy. And... Pretty much good. I'm, I'm just trying to get my work my way over here. So we're pretty easy, pretty easy. My goal is about ten minutes. This guy off here. See, as long as I keep my, my my shield in front of me, keep the enemies in front of me, it's not that hard at all. And I was getting a lot of comments that was telling me, hey, it's not enough damage. Um, but in reality, your job is to take the bullets, whether you're running the team or not. Yeah, there could be some that give you your team a buff, right? There could be some that gives your team a buff. But not all the time do you have to give your team a buff, right? And a lot of times, you're, if you're running solo, this is definitely going to be the best way you want to run this. Let's move over here. And remember that the Liberty has a new buff. As long as you hit chest shots, you keep increasing the damage. Like right now, I'm at 30 stack. It doesn't consume that stack until I hit him in the head. So... I still have the 30 stack. If you look what I'm zoomed in. So now, now I lost the stack. But it's really up to you. If you want to hit to the head. Headshots are about a million. Um, body shots are about like 600,000. So if they're, if they're running away. But sometimes you want to keep that stack up there. So you can instantly heal your shield. So the boss is already out, and we're about like three minutes in, right? So about three minutes in, not too bad at all. So we're gonna... Yeah. You see, pretty much nothing can really kill me though. Oh. The worst part was at the very beginning, right? When I had that, when I had that, um, those enemies start shooting me in the back at the very beginning. See, I had another guy right behind me. Okay. So we have a guy over here. Yeah, I think he's the last guy. Now we just have to defend. So we're good here. That's what I was telling you guys. What are we at? We're about five minutes 
And it took us about a minute just to get to the control point because those groups behind me. So we'll see how fast we can. But look at the shield. Never going down. I never have to worry about really anything hitting me. Remember, this is the hardest difficulty, right? This is the hardest difficulty that you can do a control point on. Yeah, skill builds will be a little bit easier to use. But remember, you don't always have to run glass cannon. For a lot of you guys who enjoy running some type of shield build, this is really right here. This right here is going to be... It's, it's going to be what you can run, right? You can run something different. You don't always have to run all reds, all blues. And with this, survivability is high. As you guys are watching. I think my shield gets to what, 25%? And then, oh, look at this medic. All right, so we're gonna take out the medic. And then finish this guy. And then I think once we kill this medic, we should spawn the boss. Remember, if you want to build the stack up to heal your shield, you can. You can just have to hit the headshots. So, great thing running about Liberty, right? Oh, no, we got one more. I think we got one more guy. All right, never mind. This dude does not stop. Gotta hit those headshots, boys. Easy work. So we're about seven minutes in. So like I said, I wanted to say do about ten minutes. I think ten minutes, like even with the skill build, it's probably like seven, maybe five to seven minutes. Maybe probably more average about seven minutes. And this with the shield build, we're at seven minutes, right, right about now. From when I started actually doing the control point. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Dodging and weaving, boys. Getting those headshots in. Shoot him right through that glass. And it should be a wrap right here. And we got one guy over here. We're about eight minutes. We might even actually do it in eight minutes. And then just this guy over here. What was that? About eight minutes and 43 seconds? And that I want to say it was more eight minutes because I didn't even start it. So about took us about eight minutes to beat this, right? So for people who are saying, look at this right here. Baby, all right, I'll take that. I don't need this. But yeah, for people who were wondering, who were wondering, like, could you use the shield build? Make it effective enough, right? Effective enough to use and complete a control point. Because you know, you want to be able to knock out these control points fast. This was the hardest difficulty you could do a control point on. Heroic. And it did what I needed to do, right? It did what I needed to do. I ended up getting one really good piece. So in about eight minutes, and I want to say like even with skill builds, I was doing it what about like six minutes, maybe probably around six minutes, five minutes. So that just tells you that you can use a shield build. It does have enough damage, right? It does have enough damage. And I just wanted to prove a point because I had a lot of people telling me that it was not worth it. Um, there wasn't enough damage. And I just wanted to prove to you guys, there is enough damage. You can use this build. And if you want to see this full build breakdown right here, you guys can, I'll put a link to it in the description. But that is it, guys. I just wanted to make a video. Just um, let you guys know, enough damage with this build. There's only 
one red on here, right? One red on here, the punch drunk mask. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, nothing but skills is out.